This has been the most extraordinary thing I've done in my life. I've discovered that um, as migrants and refugees, they certainly do that. Outreach work is so important to us at the Royal Valley and at the Royal Opera House in London. We're working with kids that have never been given a chance to shine. Art is, is, is something for everybody. We should open doors, we should give opportunities. This isn't just an Australian thing, this is the Royal Ballet. This is bigger than Facebook. Collaboration is, is, is key really. It's, it's, it's really fantastic to be here in Brisbane and working with QPAC who are very much embracing the learning potential of such a big um, event like the Royal Ballet Tour. Any great performing arts centre um, needs to reflect the community that it works in. It will also celebrate the work of your teaching artists since they'll be going out and working with ideas that we will offer them. Professional development days that we spent with Liz and David was just heart opening because in that room were other arts workers like me who work with marginalised communities to be all on the same page in the same room with the same project and that was delightful. And quite often ballet is seen as something that's not accessible for everybody. Um, so there's a, there's a duty to open the doors to people. We've got five Royal Ballet dancers who are on board with the project. So every group has got something of the winter's tale in there, but all of them have interpreted the ideas completely differently. The girls have been great with taking ownership of, uh, ownership of their own choreography. A lot of these guys come from communities where they might not always get interaction with the big companies like QPAC, so it can have a big impact on how they view the world of dance. First, it's kind of hard to get your head around how do we um, bring ballet and a lot of different disciplines of dance together. But through the way in which the Royal Ballet have approached this and the way they work um, has been really valuable. It's challenging, very creative as well. I enjoy dance because I don't always hear it, but I sometimes feel it and sort of feel the rhythm when you go with it. It's a lot of fun. Doing this is a really great opportunity for the ACCA students as well to get them to learn how to facilitate. For these guys that we're teaching, um, it's an amazing opportunity and you can just see their light, their eyes light up basically when they're talking about it, so it's wonderful. What I've really enjoyed about this group is have an open mind in terms of learning a bit of ballet, a bit of classical dancing, which is not part of their cultural tradition. This is my first time doing any workshop to, uh, of dancing. I am discovering a different parts of my personality now. I love dancing now. <laughs> I come as a social worker knowing that I'm going to be bringing a group of people with me who have not had this sort of experience before in this sort of environment. This is amazing because one of my brothers and one of my sisters is in the group as well. We didn't grow up together. I'm getting a bit emotional actually. It's something really exciting and as the day comes closer to our performance I'm getting very nervous but I'm also being very excited. It's something I'd never ever thought I would be doing. Yeah. I'm 66 years of age yeah. and I'm having all these amazing things opening up to me. Today, Royal Ballet came in and helped. It really it was really helpful. Our perspectives and well, it's a Royal London Ballet. Yeah. I mean, not everyone gets that, so yeah. Yeah, exactly. you know, it's a good experience and helps us in dance, I guess, realise how lucky yeah. we are. It's helping them to be themselves and, and not to be as shy. <laughs> We're in the middle of a 10-week project with um, QPAC and the Royal Ballet, and I've discovered that um, as migrants and refugees, they certainly do dance. Most of us haven't really experienced this opportunity, so it's great, finally, to perform in front of so many people on the stage. And it's going to be awesome. And we're going to get that. We're working with kids that, um, I guess, never been given a chance to shine, so it's a real um, exciting time for them. Yeah, at first it was a little bit hard, but then we got used to it.
yeah. teaching new people how our culture and what, what it's about. What you've achieved in such a short time is amazing. Keep practicing, keep listening. Well, Saturday, the day before the D-Day, and I know all the participants are really excited, and it's been such an valuable, a valuable experience for them. It's a very proud moment for me as a teacher, just to see them, to be a part of something great. They can't wait to get up on stage and perform for their family and friends in the community. This has been the most extraordinary thing I've done in my life. Watching people who, probably for the first time in their lives, are going on stage in public. First time we've done I just like the um, routine of it all. Getting up and having a purpose to, to come along. Gives you another outlook on life. Yeah, I want to join the Royal Ballet. <laughs> <laughs> you are Royal Ballet now. Come on in, Royal Dancers. I'm a little nervous just because it's raining and the stage is a little slippery. We are all excited. I'm scared. You need to take a deep breath and out. Yeah. A deep breath and out. Yeah. We all excited. That's good advice. Yeah. Um, we're going to be dancing with different communities, different people, and we're going to be getting to know them. And today's going to be a great day for me and my life ahead. So I wouldn't get this opportunity from where I came from. So this is a really great place and I love it. I think there's often a big focus on legacy, what can be left behind, so any project that's set up there's always a view to not just the impact in that moment and in that time of that project, but what can continue to work in those communities after we've gone. It's just remarkable, really. I mean, so, some of the groups, I, I, I can't even imagine what it must be like um, for them. Art is, is, is something for everybody. Uh, it's not just for those that can afford it. It's for, it's for everybody. We should open doors. We should give opportunity. So hopefully that will impact in their communities and they'll continue to work together. Asking people to tap into their own expression. In an environment where everything is right, if you feel yeah. it and you want to move it, that is absolutely yeah. right. There's no limits on who can do it. Will we keep on dancing afterwards? Mm. What goes on beyond the performance? And what are the possibilities? Oh, mm. endless. Once we open this door for people, yes. we then yeah. what do we have can keep going you know, in different ways, all yeah. sorts of ways. I love dancing now. <laughs>